Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about concealed carry. Now, I have a couple different options that I use personally for me. Uh, it kind of depends on what I'm doing for the day, depends on my clothing. So what I'm showing you might not be the best for everybody, but I'm going to show you what I prefer and I'll run through a couple of those options. So as you know, I'm always carrying. I carry a SIG 365. It is unloaded for video purposes. So pretty much how this holster attaches is with something called a fabric clip. Specifically, this holster is from Red Hill Tactical. Uh, it's, it has like a fabric coating on it or a fabric um, kydex. So then that way it's a little bit softer to the touch. And I feel like it also kind of holds onto fabric a little bit easier uh, just to make make sure the holster is secure. This attachment here is called a claw and this is the fabric clip. So one thing with a Kydex holster is you really want to make sure that it's secure. So this one, the retention is really good. Uh, that is really important for selecting the holster that you want. You don't actually need a belt and that's because of the fabric clip. So you can see it's flexible here, flexible up here. So what you do is you put the fabric clip in between your pants. And as you can see, I'm wearing jeans. Uh, this also obviously works with sweatpants, yoga pants. And then you just kind of push it like that and it grabs onto your fab fabric just like that. So just pulls the gun out, not the holster. What the claw actually does is it kind of pushes the, the butt of the gun in you a little bit, which helps decrease on your printing. So, I mean, this is a fairly loose style shirt, but um, you know, very easy, very easy to conceal. And again, how you take it off is you push this top and pull the bottom and it just comes up like that. And there you have it. The next holster I have is also from Red Hill Tactical. This has a suede finish on it. And like I kind of said earlier, it's soft against the skin. And I also feel that it grabs the fabric a little bit more. It just kind of has a little bit more friction, uh, which keeps the holster in place. So again, it's pretty, pretty tight retention. This is just your basic belt loop clip. It does open a little bit on the bottom here. And this one does not have the claw attachment to it. I do recommend a belt just because I feel like this doesn't give enough uh, hold on just fabric itself. It's pretty stiff. So just clips over your belt just like that. And this is a ratchet belt from Next Belt. So it's still a pretty loose shirt. Um, you can see without the claw on there, the butt of the gun does stick out a little bit more than without. Comfort concealment, it's pretty much just a band. So it's just smooth on the inside and then where the text is, it kind of has a grip feel to it. And then you take your normal Kydex holster, preferably one with your basic belt loop, and it just clips on just like that. So it's meant to be worn inside your pants. As far as this, like I mentioned, the grip here, I do think that it grips a little bit of the fabric of the pants that you're wearing uh, to prevent movement from coming up. If you didn't know, there was a gun, would you know? So and that's the only thing with this is that it does seem to come up a little bit 
Another great concealment option is a type of belly band. So the only problem with a lot of belly bands is it doesn't actually give adequate trigger protection. So you can see with this one, it's pretty thin. And this one is obviously geared more towards women, but they do make belly bands for men as well. As you can see, it's clear. So you can see I was able to actually pull the trigger through this belly band. What I like to do is if you have an old gift card or old credit card, you just slide that right in there. And so that actually blocks the trigger. You can't actually pull the trigger. So belly bands you can wear either on your hips down low or you can actually wear it up high. And this is actually a great solution uh, for women with larger breasts because your breasts will actually cover any printing that you might have with the gun. I tailor my outfit sometimes and I choose my concealed carry holster depending on what I'm gonna wear and what activities I'm gonna do. So obviously, if I do want an appendix carry, I can't wear super tight fitting clothes. Um, yes, of course, there's the purse carry, but I won't even get into that today. Uh, so another option that I currently have right now is a concealed carry corset. And this does go all the way around. Obviously, this one is a little bit more tailored to women. They do have a men's version though. This is Dean Adams. Uh, what's nice about this one is it actually has two pockets in the front. So you could double wield almost. And again, the only thing with this is that there is only fabric covering the trigger guard. So again, empty. That's pretty easy to pull. So what I do is the card, just push that over your trigger guard. And so you can't access to the trigger. And then you can carry knives or spare magazines in the other pocket. One option that I do like if I am going to wear a tank top or if I am wearing a tighter shirt and I obviously can't have any gun in the front is actually just do back carry. And no, I don't walk around like this. You can in Washington, open carry state, but easily throw on a flannel, you can even do this. Obviously, the more flowy of dress that you have is actually going to be better. And I'm talking to the ladies here. Sorry, guys. But uh, I'm not a huge fan of thigh holsters, but sometimes they do work. So this one is a lethal lace thigh holster and they also make longer ones for your body that you can wrap around different portions of your body. And all it is is lace that has some clips right here on each end and you just wrap it up and you just wrap it tight wherever you want on your body. So print it a little bit right here.
The same thing with this holster is with the other belly bands is it doesn't actually provide adequate trigger guard protection. So I actually have a sticky holster that I put inside the lace as well. Under Tech Undercover has a couple different options for concealment. These are compression shorts. So they just have pockets in the shorts. And they also come with, uh, and they also have yoga pants too that has the pockets as well. Lastly, I just want to say that however you choose to carry, you should dry fire that method and do it every day until you feel very confident that you can draw your weapon when you need it. A lot of times when we switch clothing up or when we switch holsters, it might be unfamiliar with us and we don't obviously want to get caught in a situation that can potentially be unsafe to us and the people around us, but you obviously need to be able to access your firearm when you need it. So thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, send this video to all your lady friends.